Burning is frustrating, but it's part of burning. Wood is going to do what it's going to do, and you can't change that. We need to learn to work within the limitations of the wood and not the other way around. If you've been burning for a while, you know that your burn can fade over time. This happens mostly within the first two years, but it will continue to age for the next 100 years or more. But why does wood burning fade? It's because of wood. Wood is a raw organic material, and even though it's dead, it's still constantly changing, and will do so for 100 years or more. If you use a piece of paper or a canvas, that's been processed to make it optimal for art. Wood is different. It's not processed to be optimal for burning. When a tree is taken down, it's aged. It's allowed to dry out over time. Once it's dried to the right point, it's then cut up for lumber. When you prep your piece, you're sending it down and showing brand new fibers. Fibers that have not aged. So when you first start burning, that piece of wood is gonna be the lightest it's ever going to look. From what I've read, there are three different things that affect the aging. The first is UV light. UV rays will usually come from direct sunlight, but can also come from certain types of bulbs. UV light on wood burning will speed up that aging. We'll also do it unevenly you can use a UV protective coating or a finish with UV protectant in it. Through my own experimentation, I found that it won't stop aging. We'll only slow it down a little bit. It's going to catch up eventually. The best option is to keep your burning out of direct sunlight. The second factor in aging is oxygen. As an organic material, wood reacts to oxygen. Oxygen will darken the fibers. We can limit that by adding a finish. A proper finish will keep that oxygen out and limit the darkening. The third factor is a little trickier. That's chemical reactions within the wood itself. There are different chemicals that react to each other. Some of those reactions will darken the wood. There's nothing we can do about that. It's a natural part of the wood's life cycle and you can't stop it. Aging is also different depending on the species of wood. It will even vary tree to tree. Some cherry is very light and will age to a reddish brown. Other cherry will age with more red. After a century or so, it looks similar to this. Basswood is popular for wood burning and that does darken moderately over the first two years especially. I found that maple darkens a bit less, but it does age noticeably. You can try to limit it with finishes like spar urethane or others with a UV protectant, but it's better if you just don't leave your wood burning in direct sunlight. I haven't found any way to stop aging. I've consulted the woodworking gods on YouTube and they all say the same thing. You can't stop it. So I took another route. I stopped fighting the fading and I embraced it. I changed my approach to my work. Instead of making it look perfect, Today, I burn so it looks perfect in two years. Most wood will do the majority of aging in the first two years. It then slows down after that. Look at some of your early work. Notice spots where it's lighter than you really want it. Notice places where it might be too dark. This is usually going to be in areas of shading. Lighter areas of shading get washed out as the wood gets darker. Use that information to burn darker on your next piece. Now this may be difficult to tell a customer that yeah, I know it doesn't look right at the moment, but in two years, it's it's going to be wonderful. But that's how we have to think. Do you want it to look good for the next two years or do you want it to look good for the next century? Wood is going to do what it's going to do and you can't change that. We need to learn to work within the limitations of the wood and not the other way around. Once you realize this, you can start making art for a lifetime. Thanks for watching. Happy burning.